the guys uh, all right welcome back to the Final Fantasy 3 pixel version so last time we defeated uh, what's his face Kraken and now we are in Amur so first things first let's take a look at our new jobs here So we got Geomancer, which is something I'm excited about. <clears throat> now the Geomancer absolutely sucks in the NES version. However, if he's anywhere near as good as he is in the DS version, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to be using multiple of them, but uh, we'll hold on for now. What is this? Dragoon? Why is the Dragoon blanked out? Switch this job. For some reason, the dragoon is all uh, Viking. I haven't used him in the NES. Didn't use him in the DS version. Don't really know. He's an unknown quantity. I'm not going to be risking it. Black belt. Screw the black belt. He's got nothing going for him except HP. Dark Knight will be useful at a certain stage. And who are these guys? Evoker and Bard. I'm I'm completely unsure about these two. But I think just to be safe, uh, definitely going to switch Luna to, to a thief because we get fantastic thief equipment here. And I'm curious about the geomancers. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, also thief can be in the back row. You'll see why, you'll see why. So I'm going to go ahead with this since there is no penalty for uh, changing jobs anyway. Kind of like FF5. Yeah, I, I was I was thinking about this uh, last night. And uh, I think I think they've brought brought, uh, brought this version much closer to FF5 where uh, you are perhaps you're even expected to change jobs frequently. Although you don't get ability, uh, you must be getting something from job levels although I haven't really noticed uh, much difference. I've gone all the way up to what job level 30 with the red mages and haven't really seen much uh, damage increase oh, but I don't know I don't know man uh, let's test out the geomancer I'm hoping that uh, it won't be as bad as the NES version <laughs> although I, I think they've gone to a lot of pains to not make jobs suck in this version so we are going to be we are we're going to use uh, three geomancers for now god damn it Because they are absolutely OP on the DS version. Do we have any equipment for them? Wow, we actually don't have a lot of equipment for them. Man, they're going to be taking a lot of damage, unfortunately. I'll have to see if I can get some equipment for them in Amur. Wow, only the leather stuff they can wear for the time being. Thief I'm not worried about, like I said, he's going to get some equipment. Alright, so let's go in search of uh, Thief equipment. This must be for verification, right? Okay. Didn't know this place actually had a verification pool. Weapon shop, don't care about that for now. Oh no, this is the inn. Keep messing it up. Got anything to say? It's a man who rescued Arya! Where's Miss Arya? Did something? Oh, I see. This is regrettable news indeed. But Arya wanted you to bring light like back to the world. What are you waiting for? Get to it! Hey, that was a sudden change. How do we get into the water first of all? Oh crap, we have to wear we have to have the old man unlock that gate first. And for that we need to trigger a cutscene, but where exactly is the cutscene? Once monsters started coming out of the sewers, the town elders had them sealed up. I'm pretty sure Gil has the key. You've seen his brigade of fold old timers, right? Okay. <laughs> Stooges. Okay, there's the cutscene. We have a legend here in our village. 
It says that four warriors will appear to bring balance to the forces of light and darkness. And there they are. Exactly <laughs> the idea is bright. Off we go. Fellow, they're just called fellows, eh? Even this theme is better in this version. What is that? Who are those guys? Oh, don't mind them. They're harmless. Those fellows just think they're the four warriors of legend. Okay, so the people here actually know that they're just faking it, huh? Uh, what is this place? Oh, this is Gil's place, right? Yeah. Hang on, let me loot his place first. Seriously, there's nothing in any of the houses. What happens to be the problem, youngsters? We need to get into the sewers to retrieve some Levigras shoes. The sewers? Oh no, you can't go in there. Too many monsters. That's why they're sealed, don't you see? Look, we're on a mission and we need to find the final crystal. This is important! Did you say crystal? So you four are the real warriors of legend? <laughs> Here they come to screw up the day. Did you hear that? These kids think they're the chosen ones. <laughs> Don't they know that's us? They seem so convinced it's them. They seem dead set on getting into those sewers. Guess we gotta bait them to it. Yeah, bait them to it. Surprisingly, they are going to help us. Understood. I'll lead the way to the sewers. Don't fall behind, youngsters. Chop chop. Now where's that keyhole? Ah! There we go. There you go. Follow the waterway down and you'll find the sewer entrance. Okay, thank you. Don't get in over your heads, you hear? Ooh, ooh, I'm looking forward to this thief equipment. How OP is the thief here? Free carrots, please. Gisal Green, sorry, sorry. Not that I'm ever going to use any, unless there's an inventory problem in this version. No? Black Carp, Thief Gloves, Black Cow. Uh, uh, aren't we supposed to get something more? Oh, I can run. I can run. That's the sewer entrance. I guess that's it. Uh, everything else we have to buy for the thief? Black car, black car, thief clothes. Alright. And for weaponry... Actually, I should steal with the thief. So I will have him use a shield if possible. Uh, can I, I, I believe he can use the ice shield. Yes, he can. But I will give him a weapon. Actually, no, I'm not going to waste money. I'm going to I'm going to see if the geomancers are up to the up to the job so the thief can just focus on sealing mango holy arrow iron arrow kaizen knuckles morning star battles battle axe thunder spear boomerang oh shit you get a thunder spear here I, I don't know if you got the thunder spear here in the NES version but uh, I seem to remember that you did not get any dragoon equipment any dark knight equipment or for most of the jobs you just didn't get anything except for the thief you got the boomerang which is 9000 bucks I don't have that much cash I'd rather just spend it on uh, buying some armor for the geomancers actually what if this plan backfires well I do have a save file Hero shield. Can the geomancers wear anything? Oh crap! Geomancers are stuck with leather gear, huh? Uh, 
That's really bad news. Well, let's see what kind of damage they can do first. Does it show that the Mankosh has... Ag yeah, agility plus 3. Accuracy plus 99. But what about evasion? Uh, I believe the Mankosh, even in this version, is supposed to increase our evasion. Yep, it does. Okay, it only increases by 1. Huh, surprisingly. So our evasion is only 35%. Oh man, they, did they nerf the thief equipment? Defense 71, evasion 35%. Agility? Agility only 30. By this time, his evasion would be 99% with all the thief equipment. Strange. Very strange. Alright, let's head to the sewers, and this is going to be our first Geomancer test. If I remember correctly, the enemies here can paralyze you on hit. And I think they also have a special ability to paralyze, so let's see how it goes. Terrain! 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 Yeah, they're taking a lot of damage. Thief is fine. Rapids. 170 damage, but that was enough to kill him. Interesting. So decent single target damage, but nothing that the red mages weren't able to do. Or who knows. So far, so far so good, so far so good. Just that they're taking a lot of damage. Cat claws would be for the black belt. <laughs> Help! <laughs> yeah, they're being attacked by goblins. <laughs> hey, it's those old timers from earlier. We can't just leave them to fight on their own. Holy shit, okay. So in this fight we get a whole bunch of goblins. Let's try and steal. And hopefully terrain, no, terrain will be single target only. Damn it, thief, steal something. Wind slash! <gasps> Whoa! Bottomless bog. Is it just completely random? These guys are nothing to worry about, but still. So the potion, okay. Finally the thief manages to steal. So far I'm liking the Geomancer. If I could just do something about their lack of equipment. I think we'll go with this team. Whirlpool! First multi-target uh, geomancy we've seen. We would have been goners without your help. We owe you one. I guess this proves that we're not the legendary heroes after all. Such a shame. Oh well. You win some, you lose some. <laughs> Okay. Screw these guys. Oh god, we got a mango here. I didn't even remember. Race is 7000 bucks. Nice! What? How are they not dead? Okay, maybe these are different enemies. Thorian Hammer, don't care. That's for the Viking. And here we should get the Oricalcum. Oricalcum. And Power Bracers. 
I think power bases uh, again for uh, the what's his face. Oh crap, he's gonna die. Need to throw a potion at him. Let's just risk it. Come on. Doesn't look like these guys have anything more than a potion to steal. So I'll just have the thief attack as well if uh, if uh, these guys only have potions. Although we do need plenty of potions because we don't have any healers right now. No boss at the end, so that's cool. My, 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 what are we here? Are you looking for old Delilah? Yes, we were hoping to borrow her Levigras shoes. Do you know where she might be? Look out! Why, why, why? Delilah's me! <laughs> so you're young and think you're the legendary warriors? I see. You sure don't look the part if you ask me. But if you insist, here are the shoes you desire. Catch! And this is where these guys are gonna help us out. They're friends with Delilah. Watch out! Oh, no explosion. The shoes were a trap! How could you tell? Just a hunch. Nah, I'm just joshing. I've seen the real shoes before. Delilah, stop! These youngsters are telling the truth. I'll watch for them. Oh my word! I took you for liars. My mistake. Would you give them your Levigras shoes? If you just trust them, then I'll take your word on it. Here, these are the real shoes. So we need that to enter Goldor's mansion. Now Goldor's mansion has an obnoxious enemy. Hopefully they nerfed it. Now we can get across that bottomless bog and find the last crystal. Okay, put on the Levigra shoes. Thankfully they're not going to take equipment slots. You four may not be the chosen warriors, but you are true heroes at heart. Thank you. <laughs> it was nothing. We best be off. Hang on tight. I'll teleport. I'll teleport us out of here in no time. Whoopee! And once we talk to them, they'll tell us that uh, no, we, we don't know any magic. We just use an auto shroom. You really thought I used teleport to get us out? No, no, no. That was just an auto shroom. <laughs> are we healed up? No, we are not. Uh, let's heal up. Buy a shit ton of potions and uh, try out Goldor's mansion. Mansion. So far, Geomancer. Not bad. Not bad. I just, I just wish I hadn't thrown out all that equipment actually. The mage robes and all, I think uh, the geomancers would have liked that. 200 bucks! How much cash do I have? So 30,000 bucks. Uh, not gonna be spending it on anything anytime soon, so okay. Actually, I am gonna be spending it, but uh, well, we'll, we'll see when we get there. I'm just taking it uh, one dungeon at a time. And instead of the Mangosh, I should have got the Boomerang. Because we're gonna have uh, the Thief attacking. Thief does very decent damage at uh, this stage in the game. His damage, well, tapers off very spectacularly later on. But I think we, we will invest in a couple Boomerangs for him for the time being. 18,000 bucks, just gone right there. We can sell the Mankosh though. Actually, no, that's a pretty good weapon. If I ever decide to be on the front row. But what's the use if it's not gonna give me evasion? Decisions, decisions. I 
I'll just hold on to all of uh, all of my weapons right now. And if I if I run short on money, then I'll just have to I'll just have to deal with it. Unfortunately. Oh wow! One step random encounter. What terrain do we get here? Cyclone. Kill him. No, that must be fractional damage. Oh my god. Nine hits! Thieves starting out with nine hits. Okay, Cyclone is not uh, fractional damage. Good to know. But these guys have tons of HP. I'm just thinking about my healing options right now. Do I really have to invest in potions? Look at how little damage the thief is taking. Can anybody learn any magic? I don't think so. Yeah, they can't use any magic. <sighs> oh man, I just don't have the money. Potions seemingly heal for random damage. Alright, let's enter Goldor's Mansion now. What horrors await us? Normally all the doors here are supposed to be locked, but we've got the safe, so we don't have to worry about that. Huh, the crystal theme is playing here. Wonder why. Oh god, these guys these guys confuse us. Oh my god. Yep, they still confuse us. Good nice terrain here though. Holy shit. Any multi-target terrain I appreciate. I think I'm gonna have to switch the thief to white mage of some or some something like that. We have no healing. How the hell are we supposed to take on Goldor? I don't think we have high potions available right now and even if even if they did have high potions I won't be able to buy them. I wasted a potion. I'm going to head back in town after this. Uh we 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 can get a lot of money through these treasure chests, upcoming treasure chests. Those graphics too. Thankfully, they're not like 100% confusing us every time uh, they hit. So I greatly appreciate that. But there's a horse-type enemy here as well. Golden swords. All of these chests contain only gold swords, and uh, there's literally only one use for these swords. Get a whole bunch of money from them. Don't confuse. Oh god, they're going after one guy. Kill him! Kill him! You know what? Terrain seems to be completely unrelated. Blizzara! Ouch! Terrain seems to be completely unrelated to the actual terrain we are in. I don't mind that, as long as you're doing good damage. Vivan Claw. Oh, one of the chests actually had something else. Uh, do we have an auto shroom? I just want to get out of here. We got exactly one auto shroom. 
Well, I think starting from Salonia we can buy more. So I'll just I'll just use that. All right. So we can make a whole bunch of money once we head back into town. So let's do that and buy 99 potions because obviously we're going to need them. Wish there was some uh, geomancer equipment, but there doesn't appear to be. Three of them. Whoa. We're not. Huh. In the NES version, you would only meet up with one, and it has tons of HP. So I guess they kind of nerfed it here by dividing our, dividing our, it up into three. Whatever the name of that monster was. Oh, oh, wait a minute. This is the guy I was talking about. Falcon. Whoa! Not cool! Uh, we're dead. Or not. Everybody's dead though. Uh, let's let's just try and head back into town. Okay, Vulcan is OP. What the hell? So I don't, I don't, I really don't remember what those other dragon type enemies were for. Hmm, so what are we gonna do against Goldor? I don't think uh, we're gonna have enough damage to just make it through without any healing. Items please! Oh, we actually get high potions? 600 bucks. It's not good. It's not good. Where are the gold swords, by the way? Hey, what is this? Man, I have scholar robe, and the geomancers can't even equip that. What the hell can they equip then? Only gonna make... What? If one sells for 2500 bucks, how is it that 11 sells for... Okay, okay, no, never mind. I haven't lost 8,000. I'm never gonna use a monk, so this can go as well. More money. If I want to buy 100 high potions, it's gonna cost me 60,000 bucks. I'm not gonna buy 100, but what the hell? Let's buy up, up to. I'm. Uh, I can only. Use, I'm only planning to use one high potion per round. And I, and I've already got nine of them. And I can't even buy regular potions. Holy crap! I don't think I can use Geomancer right now. Not until I get equipment for him. So it's back to red mages for us. I'll keep Lunas as a thief. He's doing uh, pretty well. At least they get some kind of elemental protection in the ice shield. And... Uh, Lots of, lots of defense, de defensive equipment, unlike the Geomancer. I just, I just cannot sustain the Geomancer. I, I'm, I'm thinking about gold ore. Even if the random encounters are somehow doable, and even in the random encounters, we're taking way too much damage.
Gonna have these guys on the bow and arrow because I'm not sure about the elemental attributes of the monsters in this region. Hopefully the bow and arrow will still do decent damage. Okay, let's give this a try. We need to rest up again. To recover uh, MP. Okay, let's attempt Cold Ore now. Should have a decent amount of healing. But I think he's got uh, a lot of magic defense. Oh god, this guy. Actually, we have elemental protection against him now, don't we? Should use the ice staff. Kill him. Yeah. I've been just not doing too bad right now. Although I d desperately wanted to use the GM and so for as long as possible. I don't think he's a viable end game job, but uh, GM and so is just so damn useful. I just realized there was a freaking chocobo forest there. I could have taken the chocobo back to town. Man, these guys are still doing plenty of damage for some reason. Not on the thief though. Thief has absolutely OP equipment for this stage in the game. But at least we've got some kind of healing right now. So even if we do take this much damage, it's fine. Yeah, and, and one, one charge of cure just heals so much more than a, a potion. Potion was like 50? The door is locked, your thief skills easily open the lock. <laughs> okay, at least it's at least it's explicit. Okay, never mind. Oh, these are the guys I was talking about. I hate these things. I despise these things. Uh I don't know if we are gonna make it out of this one alive. Hopefully they've nerfed it. Confuse? Sleep. Oh, that's right. They put us to sleep. Wait, do they? I think I think they have a special attack for confusion. But their physical attack just puts us to sleep apparently. Okay, thank god. <laughs> okay, much, much, much more easier to handle. Much more easier to handle than what I remember from the NES version.
Okay, it's time for gold ore. How do we handle this guy? Let's see how it goes normally. You think I'm going to give up my crystal over my dead body? How much damage do bows and arrows do? Silence! Since when did Gold War start using silence? And he's taking a lot of damage. Oh wow, they nerfed him hard. Oh yeah, <laughs> he's got he's got great magic defense. Got it, got it. So we're supposed to use physical attacks. Uh, what can Inga's doing? I guess Inga's can just be on standby then. His physical attacks don't even do too much damage. This should be a pretty quick fight. Oh, Thundaga! Whoa, 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 whoa! That was really unfortunate. Dude can use Thundaga, but fortunately Phoenix Downs are uh, plentifully available, so I'm gonna use them. Thundara this time. I guess he's in his uh, pissed off phase. Uh oh. Aye. Oh, nice. Pure wears off after one turn itself. Nice. Luneth is the one doing the most damage right now. Maybe I should put Ingus in the front row and have him use a sword or something. We do have the Turfing Sword, right? Which is pretty much the best weapon that... Uh in terms of raw damage that uh, the red mage can wield right now. Ow! Okay, <laughs> uh, not such a straightforward fight after all. Another 500 damage, holy crap. We could have survived that if, if we were at full HP, but it's fine. Oh my god, Tandaga again. Shit. That guy was the one who was using... Uh, the phoenix down. Thankfully it's not used up from my inventory. Shit is hitting the fan here. What did I just use? Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> wow, what what I thought was a simple fight turned out to be pretty bad. But we get the final crystal. No, not, not my crystal. I'll smash it before I hand it over. Ha! Huh? Why is that crystal gold? The crystal broke into a million pieces. 
Not the crystal. How could you? No, it will never be yours. <laughs> Do we get an automatic warp back? Gulda dropped the key to unlock the chains around the ship, but as soon as he grasped it, it disappeared. What disappeared? The curse is lifted and the airship can be flown once more. Was it a curse? Wasn't it supposed to be that Goldor had just locked it in? Our ship is unchained, but the crystal is gone. What do we do now? Crap, and I used my auto shroom. I have to walk all the way back. Uh, not good, not good. Red just did the job though. It, it does appear to be the case that uh, pretty much anything goes. I like that. I appreciate that. No, no random encounters? After defeating the boss? Oh wow! That's a slice of convenience. I should have looted his chest afterwards then. These guys are fine. What do you mean 142 damage? Maybe these things uh, resist physical attacks. But they're resisting magic too. Bad breath! Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't sign up for that. Wow. Bastards. Man, this is this is how useful the geomancers were. How, do, how how the hell am I supposed to cure that? I don't even have a Suna. Screw that. Let's just uh, take a chocobo back and uh, hope the inn will heal him. I swear to God, if the inn doesn't heal status ailments. Playing a machine gun simulator. Hey, puzzled. <laughs> yeah, that's lots of damage, and the end does not seem to have cured Toad and Mini. Okay, strange. Who's got mini? Phew, at least uh, gold ore is done. That turned out to be a bigger challenge uh, challenge than I expected. Three red mages still? Yeah, three red mages still. They are, they are uh, still proving to be pretty effective. And that might have something to do with the job levels. Okay. Now that we've got a ship... I think they expect you to go to Salonia, but obviously I'm not going to do that. A bunch of places to visit, I just don't know which one to visit first. Well, the one that comes immediately to mind is... Alright, oh, this airship still can't cross mountains. I don't think we ever get an airship that crosses mountains. It just we get an airship that jumps, but not one that crosses. 
Do you want to go anywhere near Salonia? Let's visit this village of Summoners or something of that sort. What is this village called? Ur? No, Ur was the first village. Oh, we still can't land them here. God damn it. So this is the village of... Replito. Okay. Oh, there's something here. Turtle shell, don't care. Yeah, so I believe this is the village of, village of evokers. What the hell has just been revealed? There's an underwater treasure trove beneath a small triangular island. We're just supposed to get that hint here? Interesting. Okay. I'm a Gulgan. In ancient times, the power of light flooded the world, a cataclysmic event we call the Wrath of Light. Now, the same thing is happening with the power of darkness. Something must be summoning it. What is it? What it what what it is though, I cannot say. All I know is that which once brought balance to the world has thrown it into chaos. If either light or dark were to envelop the world, the other not, not neither would survive. Alright, alright. Enough with your riddles. Uh oh wait, we can buy magic? Escape! Isen, Spark, Heatra, Hyper, yeah, so these are all summons. Or the lower forms of summons, which is what the evoker calls upon. In, items. Blah, 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 auto shroom. 2000 bucks for an auto shroom? No, too expensive right now. Still got 5 Phoenix Downs, I think. So, should, should be okay for another boss fight. Village in the middle of the ocean that sells feather caps. Middle of the ocean? Which village which village is that again? Just jog my memory. No equipment shops here? Ah! Bastards! So all this place does is uh, sum uh, sells summons. That's a tongue twister. She sells summons on the seashore. Okay, middle of the ocean he says. Huge manual for Garuda though. Where is that village? So this was the village of uh, Replete. Repleto. Island in the middle of the minimap. Oh, I see a small speck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see a small speck there. But wasn't that the island uh, where we found Arya? That, that. I don't think there's a village there. Oh, hell no. Okay, this is not that island then. Cannot land, cannot land on land. Okay, this is the village of Duster. Please give me some equipment. What can I do for you? We can buy feathered hats, bard vest, gaia vest, and rune bracers. Rune bracers for the red mage. The land is gone was physically above the flood of darkness on a mountain near the water temple. Oh, I see. And the, and now the water temple is also gone, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. The whole world has changed. Okay, looks like uh, geomancer equipment. But now that I'm done with gold ore. Do I really want that? You know what? I'm gonna buy it nonetheless. Splurge all of my cash. I've got plenty. So, feathered hats. None of these guys. 
these guys can't use. But gonna buy four and oh, I don't don't have that much cash. Sixty-five thousand bucks, and I need a lot of that money for buying wind spears. Oh god, what am I gonna do? I don't wanna grind for cash. Rune bracers. You know what? We'll we'll we'll, we'll stick with this party for now. Just do not have any cash to spend right now. Hey, move! I've heard many tales told and songs sung of Saronia's high-speed airship. Oh man, I hope it's not that high-speed as the NES version. Uh, bell, harp, harp, harp. So this is bard and geomancer equipment. Okay. Image actually can't use any mid games. That might be the same. Give me some items! Isn't there supposed to be some items hidden here? Hey, let's listen to these songs! Go oh, there, listen to this song of mine! What theme is this? I don't even remember. Doing four dragons for Gaura? Yup. Same song. This guy's a different song in the NES version. What? <laughs> Edward theme, right? That plays during Dark Elf. Oh, is it? <laughs> There's a chocobo theme. I don't like the chocobo theme in this version. Are you kidding? Okay. Earth and drum. Seriously? No free items here. Well, at least we found a place where we can get equipment, but it is expensive. <sighs> uh, what other place can we visit right now? I think we got nothing better to do than visit Soronia now then. We'll get some free Dragoon equipment and... And then, well, we have to face off against Garuda. We are... What level are we? Level 22. Doing Garuda at 22. Well, let's see how that works out. Uh oh, right in the midst of the cannons. Rip airship. Feather Knight should be way better than any Dragon Helmets of Surya, unless you are banking on always being in the air. Let's see how it goes. Uh, mostly I'm just using NES strats, because this version seems uh, very close to the NES, minus the crazy difficulty. So far I've made it all the way here without grinding. And if this was NES, that I would consider that a lifelong accomplishment. Ugh. Castle Soronia. Yeah, we don't care about those guys. Let's just go and visit uh, all the different places. Not sure what items are in uh, which part of the town. So, it's just gonna have to be some old-fashioned ex exploration. Shops are supposed to be closed, but there is one shop that is open. Exactly where it is, I'll need to figure out. What? There's a Chocobo in town? I didn't know that. What is this place? Okay, the ancient labyrinth.
dragon all oh, right dragon spire immediately might as well might as well I think we got some uh, pretty difficult monsters here what the hell did they change the layout of this place seem to have changed the layout of this place Holy shit, 700 damage from the thief. And he's hardly taking any damage in return. Nice, so the thief definitely is what- WHAT?! STONED! When did that happen? Six golden needles. Oh my god, they are also expensive. God damn it. Don't do this to me. Phoenix down. Dragon helm. Dragon mail. Dragon helm. Dragon mail. Thunder spear. We need wind spears. Dragon mail. Thunder spear. Yeah, they definitely changed the layout of this place. It was a lot more complicated in the NES version. Uh-oh. Not looking good. Need to revive the thief at least. I like that they're still trying to attack petrified characters. Oh my god, because of the lack of grinding, I hardly have any money. Although random encounters do seem to give a decent amount of money, but it's not enough for all the stuff that I need right now. Okay, so we're done with uh, the Dragon Tower, which I guess was the only thing over here. In the southeastern corner. Let's try the northeast. Northeast seems to have some shops, but aren't they locked? Aren't they supposed to be locked? 320 bucks? No, 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 no. High potion, golden needle. Okay, golden is only a hundred bucks. Uh, I'll I'll buy a bunch. If you're good as a bitch, well, I'm banking on that. <laughs> Yeah, okay, magic shop locked. So only the inn is uh, open to us. This would be locked too. Cool. So I need to find the place which is not locked. Okay, here it is. Windspear, 8,000 bucks. Okay, so they give, give, they're they giving us a discount of 2,000. I remember on NES, Windspear was 10,000 bucks, which was ridiculously expensive. I'll put on a save and then come and spend 40,000 bucks. As long as Garuda is defeated, I don't mind being minus 40,000 bucks. So I'm planning on just going with two Dragoons if I'm only going to buy four Wind Spears. I've got two Thunder Spears. Uh, is, that, is that all? So I guess that's all for... Uh, Northwest Seronia. Yeah. 
let's check out north uh, sorry northwest is this one that was northeast there's an end here as well do they charge the same yeah they charge the same screw these guys I think there's a guy that gives us a free heal where is he okay this is a library right Shoo! go away the library is closed okay it's closed for now we need to fr find that prince as well whatever his name is oh man they took that house away could have sworn that uh, it was here just behind this inn where we got a free heal I don't know if we got a free heal but we got a free fat chocobo there oh maybe this is the one free all is once you get a lose you get a free wind spin dragon mail as well my research mainly involves the study of chocobos I've discovered how to call forth fat chocobo voila Okay, so it's just a fat chocobo this one, not a free heal. Uh, a loose would be in a bar somewhere. This must be it. Okay, let me just explore around. There are frogs in the water. There's another house we can enter. What might that be? Yo! <laughs> he just croaks. Oh, revification, yeah. That's uh, important. And this is the old man we get that stuff from, isn't it? Armor shop closed. No, I think that's all the free free items that we can... Hey, what's this? Oh, if only Prince Olos were here, maybe things would be different. Two old men here. Maybe each of them gives us uh, one thing. Anyway, let's go take on those... Uh, gold ore wannabes. Are we healed up? We are not healed up. I'm gonna have to spend 320 bucks to heal up. Actually, no. I just heal up with a cure. Let's do this then. There was a young man in the tavern who was a dead ringer for the prince. He was in this tavern right here. Hello? Get a load of this brat! He thinks he's the prince of the kingdom! What a laugh! <laughs> hey there, little prince! What's the matter? Can't cut your tongue? What a pussy. Leave him alone! Oh! The Lion Prince's buddies have shown up! Sing it, boys! Yeah, gold or wannabes. They don't even get boss team. One shot? No, not one shot. Okay. Two shot. They're actually doing decent damage to the thief. Surprisingly. Ouch! Ooh, have mercy! I am a loose. I'm Alice. Oh, whatever. I'm just gonna call him a loose. Son of King Goom and heir to the throne of Seronia. Thank you for coming to my aid. What were you doing in a freaking tavern anyway? All right. I think he was ba he was like thrown out or something. What on earth has happened to Seronia? Uh, this is not easy to say, but my father has changed. He suddenly pitted our armed forces against each other. I tried to talk sense into him, but he could not be swayed. He sent me into exile. I realize you are but travelers to our land, but would you lend me your aid? I must return to the castle and reason with my father. Of course, your highness. I thank you. All right, moment of truth. Yo, old man. Prince Luz, is it really you? Shush, I have been exiled and must not, must not be seen. Do not give me away, I beg of you. 
Forgive me, your highness. Okay, not this guy. Let's go visit those two old men. I think they give Olus something. Praise me! It is the young prince Olus. Please take this. Dragon mail. So we got uh, stuff for three dragoons now. How the hell do I reach this? Oh, never mind. Thank heavens you're alive, your highness. I wanted you to have this so I snuck out of the castle grounds. Oh, nice! We get one free wind spear. I want to go out, please. Oh, give me a break. All right, we're gonna save here. Now, so we got some stuff for two dragoons. We got one extra dragon mail for an extra dragoon. So we can get three dragoons. But what about weapons though? I've got two thunder spears. What should I do here? Let's attempt Garuda without any Dragoons first. Very bold strategy. Let, let's see how he behaves. Because it's a, it's a lot of cash to spend. On NES, he'll just spam uh, his lightning move every freaking turn. Actually, he's, he's considered a flying enemy, right? So bows and arrows would work well on him. That's why we use the Ranger on the DS version. Let's see how much damage uh, the Red Mages are actually able to do. See if I don't expect anything. Ingus, I think I'll just have him on uh, Cure Standby. Let's see how much damage uh, his lightning attack actually does to us. Hopefully this cutscene is not going to be too long. P Prince Luz! Let me pass! B but you have been exiled, your highness! I cannot let you through! What is it? The king has given them permission to enter? Yes, sir. Forgive me, your highness. Please come through. Oh, do we get a free heal here? Maybe I shouldn't have healed up at the end. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Am I disturbing you? No, your highness. I cannot sleep for worry. What could my father be thinking? Am I not his own flesh and blood? Does he not care for me? How could a father exile his own son? Consequences, bro. Sign of a good king there. He must care for you, your highness. There isn't a parent in the world that doesn't love their child. There must be something else to this. Perhaps. Tomorrow we can meet with the king and ask for an explanation. That does li little to assuage my worry. I am Gilgamesh. <laughs> the king attacked with a knife. Death to the prince! Father, stop! What has come over you? Here's Gilgamesh. <laughs> minister? Gigamets. Oh, he's supposed to be a minister, is he? <laughs> Gigamets. What are you doing, sire? Don't stop! Kill the prince! Schlunk? That's a very weird stabbing noise. The king turned the knife on himself instead. Father! I won't be manipulated any longer. But how? How can you withstand my mind control? 
I would rather die than raise a hand against my beloved son. I will not submit to your ma manipulation. Then you will perish, fool. The prince will join you shortly. Stop! You'll have to get past us first. Hmm. You're barely worth the trouble. I'll dispose of you in no time. I think he will. Gilgamesh attacked. And suddenly it's Garuda. Not doing any damage. Whoa! Physical attack! Surprising? Lighting, there we go, and that does. Holy crap! Close to 400 damage on everyone. Okay, definitely need Dragoons then. Wait, why didn't it uh, start from the last save file? Oh, it just automatically starts from the autosave. Uh, that's not good. Can we load? How do we load? I guess I have to quit and then start the game again or something. That's unfortunate, but okay. I'll take it. No harm, no fault so far. I'm definitely gonna go with four Dragoons, but uh, how many Wind Spears I'm gonna buy, that's what I'm considering. I've already got one. I've got two Thunder Spears. You know what? Let's just go and buy four Wind Spears. Thirty-two thousand bucks. Oh, they yeah, they give us a discount. Nice. Is it greyed out because of uh, job sickness? I don't. I don't know why this dragoon sprite is greyed out. Yeah, I don't understand that. Okay, let's attempt this again. I'm just gonna be quad jumping. And it either works or it doesn't. We don't really have a different strategy for Garuda.
this cutscene is not too long uh, on this version at least. Hopefully jump takes priority. Oh, eh? <laughs> okay, somehow managed to dodge the first round of lightning. Oh crap, not the second round. That damage indeed. There we go, okay. So just like the NES version, the game wants you to use certain jobs at certain times. Thankfully... Um... Oh shit, I'm supposed to read this. Do not deserve forgiveness, nor do I expect it. Just know that your return has saved me. My soul is now freed from that torturous hold. Alus, please. You must take your rightful place on the throne and bring peace to Saronia once more. <clears throat> Father, I love you, my son. Okay. Yeah, very similar to the NES version. Uh, except for the fact that uh, job switching is not penalized. We don't have capacity points like we had in the NES version. And we don't have job sickness like we have on the DS version. So, a mix of Final Fantasy V and FF3 NES, I'd say. You have to use certain jobs. I mean, you don't have to use, but th things will be so much more easier if you use the jobs that uh, are intended to be used. But uh, like Final Fantasy V, you are also allowed to switch jobs whenever you want, willy-nilly. Job levels don't seem to do a lot. I mean, uh, they, they do increase damage, but uh, not significantly like in the DS version. You have my thanks, Luneth. Like a fool, I doubted my father's love. You're not a fool. You clearly loved him. I will assume the throne as the rightful king of Saronia, as was my father's wish. Without your help, Gilgamesh's crime would never have come to light. Thank you. All hail, King Alus! Thank you, brave warriors. Give me the fucking airship! Left the body, okay. Are there any secret passageway? Passageways in the castle here? I don't think so. But if there's any treasure to loot, I shall loot it. There are secret treasures. Holy crap, but none of this is actually useful, is it? Rusty mail, not useful. High po oh, that is useful. High potions are always useful. Rusty mail, golem staff, scholar hat, rusty mail, mangosh, Thor's hammer, ice staff, rusty mail, rune bow. Easy kill, that's for sure. Earthen Bell, Rusty Mail, Viking Helm, Dragon Helm, Viking Helm, Gaia Vest, okay. So don't have to buy as much in, uh, I forgot the name of the town already, Duster, Duster. Okay, someone here gives us something I remember. When he died, the great mage Noah bequeathed his powers to his three disciples, Zandi, Toga, and One. Give me something! 
the only ones powerful enough to cause the calamity we're facing now are those three mages in Dalg. The Nautilus's engine should be powerful enough to get you through the gales of the cross-shaped peninsula. You must head for the Dalg continent now, warriors. Don't these assholes give me anything? And I forgot to collect the elixir in uh, Argus Castle. Who the hell gives us a Nautilus? We're the Saronian Engineer Corps. You're welcome to take our Nautilus airship. It was dug out of some ancient ruins and we fix it up. We'll all go get it. <laughs> this guy. Gordon. Wait for me guys. Huh? Wait for me. Literally said that huh? Parked it outside the castle for you. The Nautilus should even get you through the gates of Dark Continent. Fly safely. Yeah, not on the Nautilus. Nautilus is like a Formula One car in the air. And here is the Nautilus. But on that note, I am going to call it here. And we'll continue onwards next time off stream. I'll just adjust my jobs. Uh, I'll fly over to the town of Repleto and buy some equipment for my geomancers. I'm gonna have uh, a thief and three geomancers. Yeah, I think we've established that geomancers are doing awesome damage. So, looking forward to it. Alright, later, guys.